pick your poison. You have to replace a lost tooth and your only options are A, a tooth from a dead body, B, a tooth made from animal bone, or C, a tooth made from pieces of shell. For thousands of years, the only way to deal with lost teeth has been to replace them. And according to the history of dentistry, dentures date all the way back to 2500 BC when they were made from animal teeth. Centuries later, around 500 BC, the ancient Egyptians and the Etruscans fashioned fake teeth from oxen bones and wire. But the first evidence of dental implants is attributed to the Mayan population, roughly around 600 AD, where they used pieces of shell. Now fast forward a couple hundred years, around 800 AD, and a stone implant was first prepared and placed in a mandible in the early Honduran culture. From the 1500s to about the 1800s, it gets a bit macabre, as teeth in Europe were collected from the underprivileged or from cadavers for the use of aloe transplantation. Distinguished surgeon of his day, Dr. John Hunter, suggested the idea of transplanting teeth from one human to another and worked with grave robbers to be able to observe and document with great detail the anatomy of the mouth and jaw. Meanwhile, across the globe in Japan, wooden dentures were all the rage from the 16th century to the early 20th century. And despite the widespread and enduring myth that former US President George Washington had a wooden smile, wooden dentures were not actually as common in the Western world. Washington's teeth were actually composed of a variety of materials, including ivory, gold, lead, and human teeth. As we move to the 1800s, innumerable substances during this time period were used as implants. These included silver capsules, corrugated porcelain, and iridium tubes. Dental technology has moved on since the ancient Etruscans fashioned fake teeth from oxen bones, but not much. Today, for the more than 7% of people over the age of 20 who don't have any of their own teeth, the only option is artificial substitutes. But the metal implants we use today tend to fail over time, causing significant pain when they do. But what if there were another way? What if, instead of implants and dentures, you could regrow lost teeth?